Hello everybody and welcome to this new video, this time featuring my horse. His name is Apacho, but we call him Fritz because we're German. He is 18 years old now. He's an old horse, but most of the time he uh, behaves like he's five. So yeah, he doesn't want to go this way anymore. <laughs> so I do this all the time where I just go on a walk with him. Because it's also good to do this with your horse from time to time, just so, so that it's like kind of like a bonding experience, and it's just nice to do this sometimes. And it's also good for me when I'm just like really annoyed from everything, so I can just like walk around with my horse. <laughs> he's really scared of everything, so um, this is why he's kind of like always walking behind me a bit. But I always try to like keep him this close so that he doesn't really walk behind me because if he's get afraid of something at that point and just run over me, that would be bad. Yeah. It's also like um, kind of oh well, your head looks super big like this. <laughs> it's also good for him to just smell around a bit because he's a very smelly guy. Oh yeah. And he's, yeah, he's a scaredy cat, as I said. And, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's good for him to get out sometimes, you know? Just get out on the streets, go around, see some shit, get scared out of some sticks. It's, it's important, you know? It's character building, motherfuckers. The most important thing is, for me, when I'm on a walk with him, to not get scared and to be a brave boy and just go in front of him and just be like, I lead the way. It's no problem that, that there's a car parking there. I don't care about that because it shouldn't be a problem. And if I'd care about it, I'd make it a problem. And we don't want that, right? No, we don't want that. And I know he's a pretty boy. I know. I get, I get told that a lot, you know? Oh yeah, well, he doesn't have the best, like, what's that called in English again? It's canter, trot, and walk, walk. He doesn't have the best walk and also not the best trot, but he's pretty. And I'm like, oh yeah, but you are pretty. Don't say something like that, you are. Yeah, but that doesn't get you anywhere horse can be as pretty as it wants to be if it has a very bad character or something that's not good he doesn't have a bad character he's just scared all the time and that's that's not good oh well oh well <laughs> and there isn't one way to like lead a horse or something to go on a walk with a horse you could do it with like normal like like i'm doing it like with all the reins and stuff, or you could do it with, I don't know, that's called a halter or something. Whatever, that that kind of thing. You could do whatever you, however you like. It's very much should be very like chosen for the horse because each horse is um, still has an individual character, right? Yeah, this is why we had to, why I had to change sides, because if I had walked on the other side, he would have stepped on my feet, because he doesn't care where I am going when he's scared. He'll just go wherever he wants to go, <laughs> because you know it's easier for him. Yeah, we are better at that at some point, but right now couldn't really go on walks all that much, and um, yeah. Why he's a little scared. Yes. So like, work with your horse, find out what's best for him, her, them, and just go with that. Of course, you always have to like look out for uh, like for yourself too, like what's good for you. But you should always never forget that uh, for there to be harmony, if you want there to be harmony, you also gotta like respect the horse as a living being. Respect the drip, Karen. <laughs> and 
with like horses that are easily scared, it's also like really important to get them into new situations. We never went this way. Look, there's the there's the stick again. Okay, now it's it's fucking unimportant. A few minutes ago, he was like, "Oh my god, help!" <laughs> and just like turn around on the same way and just go the other direction. It's really important that the horse learns these things. Also, like the commando for stay still or something. It's really important. Come on. Laugh. Halt. See? No impact with the rain. Come. Good. Halt. Good. Fine. Bravis pony. The horse also got to have the chance to grow in their personality. As you can see, right now, he's going like this. And that's good because he's kind of like moving forward he's not leading the way but he's like moving forward and he's like showing me yes i know where i am and i'm not scared or not scared as much <laughs> and that's good or also a cool party trick you can you can like teach your horse is langsam 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 Langsam, langsam, langsam. So that he's waiting, like you can go. Lani anfangen. Oh, langsam, langsam, langsam. See? <laughs> because uh, on one hand, the horse really, you can like really teach the horse to listen. And on the other hand, you can also be like, oh wait, we gotta wait for that car to go by. But we also gotta move far because there are people behind us. Let's move slowly. What did I just say? Move slowly. You can see a prime example of why he's a smelly guy. Every piece of shit is his. Too snow. Halt. 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 Come. That's good. Gut gemacht. Ein kleiner Mann. Gut gemacht. Oh. <laughs> Gefährlich. So dangerous. Hmm? Yeah. Sniff that shit. Oh, also, how do I change sides? Come here. Take one hand up, and I'm like, oh wait, he's got a sniff. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I take one hand up to signal him like, wait, I want to change sides. And he knows that signal, so like, put your hand up, go a little bit more forward, but also give him the same signal as I want you to hold, but not say hold. So yeah, something like that. Kind of a, you move faster and tell him to go slower so you can change sides. Uh, kind of thing. I wanted us to both look ugly in this shot. Hey, look at me, I'm a horse. And overall, just don't get too distressed. It's just a walk. It's just your horse. All these uh, fucking real big dangers that your horse sees. All these ghosts, all these really messed up things like birds and butterflies are not dangerous. And you gotta be the first person to tell your horse that. Because if you tell him, oh my god, oh no, I know you don't like this fence and I know you'll get scared and oh no and I ha I am so scared of what will happen if you if you get scared he'll be scared or they'll be scared don't do that don't do that just just show them yo man it's just a fence and I don't even care that the fence is there because I know that it's not dangerous so I don't care I don't even see that fence I'm just like I'm just walking here okay just enjoy your time you can spend with your horse or your animal. It's the same with dogs and everything. Just just stay cool. Don't make a big deal out of it. 
Huh? It's just, it's just a walk. So go on a walk with your horse, or your dog, or your cat, or your rabbit, or your frog, or your fish will be a bit weird, but you, you do you. You know what? Take the whole ass aquarium and go on a walk. You do you. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is, you gotta earn that trust. You can't just expect it. <laughs> that was thumbnail material. Yeah, you gotta earn that trust. You gotta show your horse that you are to trust. He loves me. <laughs> <Go on. laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> bye bye, pony. Bye bye.